Nepal tests have nectar glands, but if you don't uh, know what they look like, how to identify them, you can easily think that you have a, a pest that attacks your plants and start uh, treating them for no reason. So it's always better to exactly know what it looks like. So let's see. Hi, my name is Remy, and on this channel, I explain you everything I know about how to grow Nepenthes on a windowsill. We all know that Nepenthes are carnivorous plants. They attract their prey in order to eat them. So they attract the insect using nectar. Most of these nectar glands will be around the opening of the pitcher, under the lid or on the peristome, because the plants will attract the prey where is the most dangerous place. They will fall into the traps uh, and uh, be digested. So here is the nectar gland just under the lid. You see this big drop of sugar? That's exactly what the insect will be searching. And sometimes there is too much nectar and it will drop and touch the peristome, just like that. So the peristome is also covered with nectar. But some other species will have nectar glands on other places, not on the peristome. For example, on the body of the pitcher sometime or uh, on the stem, on the leaf, on the tendrils. So there is a lot of places where these nectar glands can come. And the first time you will see them, it's like a black dot. So it's like uh, some insect uh, puncture uh, the stem or the leaf, uh, like aphid actually. So uh, some beginners will just uh, freak out and start thinking they have some uh, pest attack. But if the leaf is not damaged, uh, if it's growing properly, nothing is deformed. You can still check uh, under the leaf or uh, around the substrate, around the stem, to see if you have any pest, but usually that's just the nectar glands. So here are some glands on the body of the pitcher. You could imagine that the plant is bleeding. On the leaf, these black dots are in fact nectar glands. Here is a fresh leaf, so you see there is some nectar. Even on the tendril, you can have these small nectar glands. But on fresh tendril, you will see again this nectar. And on the main stem, you will also see these black dots. But when they are fresh, they are producing nectar. And if it's really dry, the nectar can dry. It will form some crystals like sugar crystals. Let's have a better look. See? It's solid. And if you wonder why these nectar glands are not the closest possible from the, the trap, it's because it's probably not to eat the insect, but more to attract them. Uh, for example, uh, Nepotes bicalcarata uh, will uh, tend to live in a, a symbiotic relation with some ants. They, they are just like an hotel, actually. The ants will just live inside the tendril of the pitcher, um, they will be fed mostly by the nectar. So basically, it's like, again, an hotel, which means the ants will absolutely defend their home. If any insects try to attack the Nepenthes, then all the ants, the army, will just go and attack it. But I'm sure most of the Nepenthes will only attract the prey uh, using this nectar gland on the stem or the leaf. Basically, they are putting a little bit of nectar along the way, so the insect will just move, move, move closer to the trap and then be uh, eaten. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to shoot in the comments. And until next time, happy growing.